Hey. There you go, guys. Lovely little, I <laughs> say lovely, bit, bit of a tatty perch. That's the first lure caught perch I've had in absolutely ages. <laughs> Just around the lilies there. I'll, I'll see like a few little fry down there and he, and he went for it. Cracking little, cracking little perch there. Lovely, good fun. Afternoon guys, Andy the Budget Angler here, just out, um, just on my way to the uh, Club Lake. Um, there's a, or to, to two of the Club Lakes that I can fish, they both allow lure fishing all year round which is really nice. So I'm going to chuck a few little tiny weeny little, um, the little mini magnets or maybe some tiny little um, jig things I've made but I, I actually can't remember if I've brought them with me. Um, but I thought I'd just film the intro here because that's too, the exposure's too much. The, there's a car coming, hang on. Yeah, as I was saying, um, I, yeah, I was just gonna say I finished work uh, literally half an hour ago, and I'm out in the in the wild countryside. You can't really see that that well, is that? I don't know. Oh, there you go, a bit, a bit there maybe. Um, but yeah, beautiful blue skies. It's finally summer's kicked in, so fingers crossed the water's gonna have warmed up a bit, and um, we can get some of the little some of the little roach, rudd, and and perch chasing these little lures around and have a bit of fun this afternoon. <laughs> oh, I'd forgotten how much fun this was. I haven't come out wasping for absolutely ages. What a cracking little fish! And that's the little lure that caught him there. Just a tiny little mini magnet with a split tail, almost like a fake maggot. Really brilliant fun. Another one there, I was still, thought I was going to have a few more rudd and roach because I saw tons and tons of rudd in here last time I was down here, but I'm going to take these little perks, these are absolutely fantastic fun. God, these perks are going absolutely mad, they're even attacking the, um, even attacking the float on the surface, they're absolutely brilliant. Another one there guys, I thought the swim was done actually, I was about to move on, but it just goes to show, just fished it a little bit deeper. Oh yes, rudd there, absolute cracking little fish. Well I'll just talk you through the setup guys, so um, you may, if you haven't seen the previous videos I've done about these, you may wonder why I'm using a float lure fishing. Um, the, the part of the reason is casting distance and also it's actually a really nice way to fish a, a small lure because it means you can set the depth and so this is just like a, a foam float with a peg through it that goes onto the line and then the, the lure itself is a tiny weeny jig head, a size 14 jig head with a little soft plastic split tail on it and it's, bra it's a branded thing, it's called mini magnets, they're by Trout Magnet and they do all sorts of different ones and they're quite expensive so they're not really budget angling um, as such but um, I was kindly given these by one of my subscribers so um, I, I am at the moment trying to develop some of my own versions of it to try and show you guys how you can do it on a budget because I think for a pack of pack of these, I mean you get about 20 jig heads and, and 60 different soft plastics, it's about £20 delivered because um, I don't think they sell them in the UK, it's from the USA I'm just fishing it on my um, five and a half foot um, decathlon mini spinning rod, um, telescopic, it's great, I love this little rod, 20 quid, and it's just on a Shimano AX two and a half thousand size reel, which again was about 15 quid on Amazon years ago, but um, I don't think you can get them anymore. And so that's that's really just what I'm using. So if you were wondering why I'm fishing with a float, that's why I've done some previous videos with these that, that you might want to see. Um, and yeah, I mean, primarily I use these to try and target silvers. Um, I didn't actually realize there were as many perch in there as there It's pretty much a fish of chuck by these lilies. This is this is absolutely fantastic fun. I'm really really enjoying this. This is I've gone little lure fishing for perch for really a long time, and this is great.
Another marginally better one there, guys. Another little rud there, not quite as good as the one that I didn't get to show you on camera, but very, very welcome. It's so nice to catch a different fish that you wouldn't necessarily consider a predator on a lure, even though it's a tiny little lure. Brilliant fun. There you go, I saw that one take it right down there just by those um, irises. And another little one, I thought it was going to be bigger, it went absolutely crazy. Lovely little thing. There you go guys, little rud there. Another little wasp there. Well, it's definitely slowing down a bit now, guys, but that one just coming along the front of them irises there. Tiny little wasp, but it's good fun, and I'm really enjoying catching these on the lures. Well, they're certainly not getting any big. I think I'm going to have to come back and try with uh, some, some bigger lures and, and stick a trace on because I've seen a few little jacks cruising about near the lilies. That's why I've been moving, really, to avoid them because I don't want to end up with one on this, to be honest. Well, guys, that was a bit of unexpected fun. I weren't expecting to get um, so many perch, to be honest. It's pretty much a perch to chuck to start with. Perch to chuck to start with. Um, I've chatted to a few anglers that fished here using maggots and they just said they'd just been absolutely mullered by loads of little rudd and roach. So I was expecting rudd and roach and hoping for a few better ones. Um, and I think they'll, they'll still come and I think there might be scope to, to try some different small little, small little micro lures fished under a float for, um, for, for the silver. So I think I'm definitely going to keep campaigning that over the summer. Um, but yeah, to come out and catch a load of wasps after work, fantastic. It reminds me of the old days back down on the River Lee because that was a couple of years ago now, to be honest. Um, time has really flown I didn't hardly get any wasping in last year so um to get out and do it tonight has really really been enjoyable I've really enjoyed it so um yeah that's great um yeah I mean hopefully that you know what the setup come across what I'm using because it's a bit of an unusual way of lure fishing um it's almost generous to call it lure fishing really you could almost call those little bait things little little fake maggots but there you go it is what it is and it definitely works so yeah really really good fun yeah, so just looking forward to what's next to come, really, fishing fishing in. The, the river season's open soon. By the time you see this, the river season will be well open, by honest, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, really, really looking forward to getting out and, and, and giving some lures a go on the on the new rivers and that I can fish. So, yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it. I've had a fantastic evening. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys. Fish on.